Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over the difference between Araconas, Americanas, and Easter Eggers. A lot of people call them the same things, and um, they're really all totally different breeds. So, here, the this black one, this white one, and this white rooster, and that black rooster, are all Araconas. The difference between Araconas and Americanas are that the uh, Araconas will have no tail, but they will have the saddle feathers. And they have pea combs, and they will have tufts. This rooster has two very small tufts on the side of his face. The black rooster, you can't really see his face. And Oh, there we go. I don't know if you could see that, but he has two uh, small tufts on each side of his face as well. They were really big, but um, the other birds picked them off. And then uh, they are also a little bit smaller, but that's just because we bred for the smaller birds. And now the Americanas, which is that black girl right by the guineas. She, this is a true Americana, so they should have the dark legs with the muffs and the beard. So Americanas and Araconas are different. Americanas have the tails and the pea comb as well. Uh, some of the Araconas will have tails just because of the way they were bred to get the Araconas when they first started making them. It's like a gene thing, so some will, some won't. Now I wanna show you guys the uh, Easter Eggers. This isn't the best example of the Easter Egger just because it's still a chick. But I crossed the Ericana with the Americana and got a nice little tufted Easter Egger. Now the reason why Easter Eggers are Easter Eggers is because they are basically the mutt birds that will lay either a blue, green, sometimes a almost yellowish color egg, and uh, sometimes a pink egg. And um, you can cross them with a dark brown layer and get the olive eggers. So if you cross a blue egg layer with the dark brown egg layer, You'll get the olive eggs. Um, all, all of the chicks that you get in a feed store or from a hatchery are all the mutt birds that they sell as Americanas or Araconas. Now you cannot buy the true Americanas from the feed store or hatcheries as well as you cannot buy the true Araconas from the hatcheries because Araconas have what's called a lethal gene. So they are a little bit harder to hatch. Um, you get the lethal gene from the tufts. So if you breed two clean face together, you will get more chicks to hatch. If you breed a tufted to a clean face to get some of the tufted babies, it's a uh, usually about a 70% chance they will hatch. I've had a lot of great luck with mine. I've been getting great hatch rates with some tufted chicks. I have one Araconda that is tailed and fully tufted. Um, 
But yeah, you cannot buy the Americanas or true Americanas from the feed stores. They are all Easter Eggers. There's my boy again. Of course, he starts moving, so we can't get a super great picture of him. There's my Tom. Both my Toms. This one's new. Um, but anyway, back to the video. <laughs> um, I hope that this kind of summed up the differences between the Ericana, Americana, and Easter Egger. Uh, so, that there isn't a whole bunch of confusion. Because I know, I don't know about a lot of you guys, but it has been driving me crazy that people are always selling tr uh, the um, Ericanas or Americanas when they were really Easter Eggers. Really quick, I just wanted to show you their eggs. Uh, my Americanas and my Ericanas lay pretty much the same colored egg. Can't really tell from the video, but it's a really nice, almost sky blue egg. Um, I've never had an Easter egg or lay uh, like a really nice sky blue egg like this. Usually they're, they all pretty much have a greenish tint to them if they are the Easter Eggers. Some of them do lay the nice blue eggs. Mine, my Easter Eggers will lay the nice blue eggs just because I crossed them with Ericanas and Americanas and uh, they both lay this nice blue egg. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.